Looks like all our hard work paid off. Well, Trey and I were supposed to shoot episode 13 today and get this steering finished up, but I'm not gonna get to shoot with him until Friday. So I think I'm just gonna have to start without him. It's all right though, we'll keep the cameras rolling. I got a Red Bull and I got plenty to do. So, I said we get into it. my life miserable today and it just didn't bother recording while I welded in the bracket I just made for our steering rack so I figure I might as well just take a second and show you guys that so there's our bracket right and I kind of got it set up on a nice little angle so our, our steering rack will slot right in there and then we can run our tie rods right through the middle here I've got it welded in but I'm gonna also take this little piece of steel. Where's the best place to do this? Eh, it's tight in here. And we're gonna weld this in next as a nice little bracing so that we're not just kind of hanging off on a crazy angle here. Brace this up and then once I'm done with that, I think next order of business is gonna be figure out how we're gonna get our tie rods to attach to our knuckles here. And I think I've got a pretty good idea how I wanna do that. I might uh, draw something up, see if we can cut something out, get some stuff tacked together. And then all that'll be left after that is to run our actual steering column all the way up to here. And then put my cool steering wheel over there on. And then before you know it, We've pretty much got a completed front end. some measurements and some very crude drawings. This right here is what I've come up with. This is gonna be the little arm that comes off of our steering knuckle that allows us to connect to our tie rod. I'm gonna cut out four of these and weld them on. The stuff that's going on here is me figuring out exactly how I want the steering acumen. That's worthy of its own video. So I think we're gonna do a Tyrannus Tips video on that um, in the very near future here. Steering acumen allows you to take corners easier by turning the outside wheel and the inside wheel at slightly differing amounts. And again, I'm butchering this right now, but I'll do a whole video talking about steering acumen and steering acumen alone, because it's very helpful. For now, this is what we're going with. I'm gonna cut this one out, make three more, and then we'll get them tacked in place and see what we gotta do about some tie rods. Before I weld up my 
knuckle with my uh, tie rod attachment on it. I figured it'd be a good idea to reassemble this side and cut one of these tie rods down to size, tack something together, and just double check that we're not going to have any interference issues. I'm pretty confident we should be good, but better safe than sorry, so let's go put this back together. So it turns out the only clearance issue it looks like I'm having is between the end of this pipe and the tripod. So let me move you guys for a quick second. There we go. I don't know, this is looking pretty good. The knuckle itself doesn't actually interfere um, with anything. We're gonna only have to about here as far as the steering is concerned before I hit the shocks. It's not too late to reposition some of this stuff, but I think it'll be worth my time to actually get at least one of these tie rods cut to the correct length, weld it up, and we'll fully assemble this passenger side of the steering and just double check everything before we go welding everything down for real. All right. Check that out. No clearance issues whatsoever. Tie rod looks good. Everything's gonna make it. We got some loose hardware in there, but no interference over here. Plenty far away from our shop throughout the entire travel. And this wheel is gonna get all the way over to that full crazy drift lock. So we're looking pretty good. At this point, um, all that's left to do is for me to just copy everything I did over here, over to the other side. And yeah, we'll be pretty good to go, man. Well, we've got steering. Yo, check this out. This little guy right in there. Nice. Brace our shock mounts, stiffen all that up. That's gonna look so good. I gotta say though, man, these episodes are not easy to shoot without Trey. I, I really wish he was here. Oh, hey, hey buddy. Hey, what's happening? How are we doing? Good, how are you, man? Oh, I'm good, man. I, I think it's about time we shot an episode, huh? Yeah, we're yeah. overdue. All right, well, let me get changed real quick. How's that? Much better, dude. All right. Let's get started. Huh? Looking good. Let's go. Let me get you up to speed, man. Uh, yeah, what's going on? So we left off with front end last time. Um, and since you've been here, or since you've been gone, I should say. Since you've been gone. I started working on the steering. So I got pretty much everything done forward of the driver's compartment. So we got our new steering rack in, way beefier than our, uh, our other ones we were running. Made some new tie rods sending those right over here to these new tie rod connections that I built um, onto our knuckles. And we're actually gonna do a whole uh, Tyrannus Tips video on the whole steering geometry sort of in depth and the theory on it all. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. Probably be a couple of videos of that. But man, it's looking good. It's working good. I'll show you a little bit. Ooh, tricky without a real steering wheel, but it all works and buddy, does it feel good. So we're looking good, man. But up next, I just gotta get these bad boys welded in. We'll run our steering column up through here, get our steering wheel mounted, and then we should be good to maybe pull this thing around and give it a little test drive. What do you think? Oh, that sounds dope. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah. <sighs> Perfect, man. Well, let's just get right into it. Let's do it. Let's go.
I know what I'm doing, I promise. We're gonna call this episode of How to Not Use You for Moments. <laughs> Minor technical difficulties. Hardest parts behind us, this was giving me a little trouble. When I mocked this up earlier, um, I was gonna just mount this pillow block sort of centered up here, which was gonna give me kind of an easier time making everything match up, but I really wanted this bolt to run through the middle of that pipe. So, changed things up a little bit and I paid for it, had to put some spacers in, and uh, you know, I'll kind of clean this all up, probably weld that stuff in so it looks a little bit nicer, but. It's operational. You can see we've got our nice full articulation, which is good. And then uh, next we'll have another universal joint. And I'm actually short on these spline shafts. I didn't order enough of them. I got two. I really should have had three. Um, so we'll get more when we do your cart. But okay, good. This instead of going onto a spline, I'm just gonna grind down one side here and weld this directly on which the whole point of the splines is so that you can disassemble this whole thing easily. And as long as you know this side's got a spline on it, this will slide right out, I'm not worried. And then I'll have my other spline shaft right here, coming out of there, which is gonna line up with our uh, steering column, which I'm reusing from the old cart here. Kind of get this bad boy in place. And so you can see this is kind of where we got to get that universal join in to bridge this gap. So it's looking pretty good. This will mount up like this. Can you hold this for me, Big Bob? Sure. And then we got our quick release. So this will go on here. I'm actually going to let this slide a little. Let's kind of bring it down. Quick release will go on like this. I've got a brass bushing that's gonna go right in here um, that's gonna keep this from bouncing around. And then steering goes on. Nice. And we're right here. And dude, this feels really good. This is Looks perfect position. Yeah. The one thing about it is it's a little bit low, but that's the point of the quick release. We can just pull the steering wheel right off as you get in and out, and it looks cool as heck. I mean, this is pretty much good to go. Yeah. Like I said, we've got this hole here that I'm gonna put that bushing in. And uh, Trey, if you come over here, you can see, you can see right here, this plate, the steering runs through is on an angle. And so when I go to put the actual quick release on, it's not flush um, with this plate and I'd like it to be. So instead what we're gonna do is make a couple slits here and here 
hammer this back down flat so that this sits on there and nice and flush with that. Put our bushing in, weld this all back up. Nice. Weld that stuff in and uh, we're gonna be in business. Yeah, looks great too. I know, I'm so excited, it's so clean. Uh, you'll probably like it even better when you don't have to hold it up yourself. Yeah, yeah. that would be nice. All right, well, <laughs> let's try and make that happen. Pretty close, but as you can see, we're kind of not lining up just right. Here is the shaft that we have coming off of the steering rack, and this is kind of where it wants to be. We're off by just a hair. If we can come up a little bit with this shaft here, the actual steering column, if I come up with it a little bit, and I bring this one over a tad, we should be able to get them to match up. So what I might do is instead of just notch and bend back this plate that we have here, I may actually fully cut that off, get this end of things all sorted out, mm -hmm. make sure that these all line up and then uh, weld this back on last yeah. and just button it up. Yeah, I like that. We're knocking on the door for sure. <laughs> So Trey had an idea, and it turned out to be a really good one. I was gonna chop this whole thing up. We're not doing that anymore. We just loosened up these bolts a little bit. We're gonna make some slightly bigger spacers, and that allowed me to drop this uh, part of our uh, steering column down a little bit, and then when we actually match that up 
I'm gonna extend it by about an inch there, just like that. And right there, our universal joint should bridge the gap pretty nicely. We have some adjustability up and down. So we'll get our universal joint in place, tighten these down to right where we need them to get the height right. And then uh, weld this half of the spline shaft over here onto the steering. Once that's all set, I'll push that out, make a mark for where we want to put our quick release. Beautiful. And then we're looking good. Now, should we let Trey take over and you film it? Or? Yeah, yeah, actually, here, <laughs> <Should> buddy. <laughs> All right, man. So right. this is a wrench. That's an impact gun. <laughs> We're going to be gig welding today. I'm going to throw up. I, I just... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let me get this thing apart and we'll throw some freaking sparks. Don't try this at home. There's a very good chance this is going to catch fire.
Looks like all our hard work paid off. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh man. This one's a little bit of a doozy. Yeah. I uh, underestimated some of the intricacies of the getting everything to line up, but we got it figured out. Yeah, it came out nice. Yeah, there's still a little tweaking to do. Um, we still have our crazy offset on those wheels. They're way wider than they need to be. This camber is stance goals, but for performance reasons, that'll get adjusted. Mm -hmm. I have some pretty heavy toe in right now, and I don't really like that either. I must have taken a wrong measurement, and I made my tie rods just a little bit too long. Gotcha. So this is as tight in as they'll go, and I still have the toe in, so but that's easy. There's just tacked. Little adjustment there. But man, this thing feels good. Yeah, it looks, looks perfect. I know, and it's sitting so cool now. It's got a wild rake to it. Yeah. Not a ton of uh, knee room with the steering wheel here, but that's not a problem. Very nice. Removable. <laughs> Love that. Race car things. Dude, between this and the, the window mesh that I'm gonna have to figure out at some point. Yeah. That's so satisfying. Yeah, I like this design. It really came came together nice. Like you said, it's really simple and it's very clean. Yeah. And I mean, I've had a lot of time to sort of figure it out and think about it and stew on it. Been through a lot of trial and error. A lot of trial and error. But here we are. That's you know? true. Yeah. Build some cool stuff. So you know what the craziest part is? Yeah. After this, pretty much the next Tyrannus episode, I don't want to get ahead of myself. We're going to be assembling this thing and driving. I've already got the throttle built. Yep. I just need to run the cable, put the gas tank in, engine plates in, sprockets on. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. We didn't quite get out there uh, tonight. No. But it was a valiant effort. It was. <laughs> As always. <laughs> As always. I wanted to tie the front end of this one to the rear end of yours. I know, I know that was the plan. Whip around, but it's all right. I'm pretty confident that it's gonna turn. Yeah. It's really excessive, but it looks cool as heck. How's it look from your view, Trey? This thing looks gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> from every angle. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> Those pictures you took last time, Trey, were very popular over on our go-karts. So our friends over at Reddit are showing the love. We appreciate you. Yeah, we love our internet friends. That's right, man. We're making a lot of internet friends these days. So some finishing touches, some dialing in mm -hmm. to be done. And then once I've got it all set to the way I like it, we're gonna do a more in-depth video about the actual steering geometry once everything's locked in. A deeper dive into the sort of theory behind how we built this kind of stuff. Because we got some questions uh, about that. And it fits right into our little uh, Tyrannus Tips there you go. mini series. Yeah. So, yeah man, I think that's a wrap. I think so. Bam. <laughs>